It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics on V103. All right, this is the six degrees of separation trending topics. Follow me. Shout out to the Kang T.I. Featured a naked Melania Trump lookalike in his dime trap clip. You got to see it. Kind of really looks like her. Also left their uh, Dear 45, I Ain't Kanye. Speaking of Kanye, SNL went in. Very funny. If you missed it, you can see it all over the web, but let's listen to part of it reenacting his meeting with Trump in the Oval Office. I want to show y'all a picture, all right, of an airplane, okay, on my iPhone. And let me put the passcode in. Zero, 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 zero. I'm a genius. <laughs> his password is six zeros? Well, at least now I feel a lot better about my password. Eight, zero, zero, eight, five, a.k.a. boobs. Okay. Here's a picture of a new plane. I want this to be your new Air Force One. Wow, very cool, very cool indeed. Where's the plane? It's invisible. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. And and, and, and who is that? That's Wonder Woman. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we should order your lunch from a pharmacy. Wow. The self-proclaimed best living recording artist. Yes, he put that up on a, a live from Twitter from Africa. Um, has a whole nother issue though. Aside from people hating on him with Trump, Drake let some of the details behind the beef with Pusha T and how Kanye played a part in it go as part of the uh, the shop on HBO. Friday night's episode featured him, Obama, Victor Oladipo, Ben Simmons, LeBron James, and Drizzy. Drizzy talked a little bit about the background behind the beef. I knew something was going to come up about my kid. They had to add like the deadbeat thing to make it more appealing, which is fine. I, I understand that. And I, even that, I was like, okay, the mom and dad thing, whatever. You don't even know my family. Yeah. It's like some... But I'm gonna tell you, wishing death on my friend that has MS. I study rap battles for a living. Now, when you mention defenseless people who are sick in the hospital that passed away, that really sent me to a place where, you know, I just believed then and believe now that there's just a price that you have to pay for that. It just, it's over. You're gonna get, someone's gonna punch you in the face. The, the, I wanted to do other things. I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna further your reputation or your career by rapping back at you and having this exchange. And, and that was it for me. He's done. I wonder will he be the person that punches him in the face, though. Push your teeth for his part, put up a clip of the interview, and put laughing emojis under his post. Story developing. Meanwhile, Drake squashed some other beef, brought Chris Brown out on his L.A. tour stop. He's been doing that. Squashed the beef with Meek Mill, brought him out Boston. Now he brought out Chris Brown. So everything's all good to the hood, except for possibly with Kanye. That's it for the trending topics. Missed any part? V-103.com or Big Ticket Show right now.